I'm Leslie Ann, joined by Oneonta Superintendent of our schools, Joseph Yelich. Good morning. Good morning. So you and I sat down together one year ago and talked about your first year. It's true. As the superintendent. Yeah. Here we are up in the second year. Yeah. How have things been going? Well, A, time flies. Yeah. Uh, but uh, really very well. Uh, it's I been think, a challenging time well, in yeah, education. Well, yeah, it has. It's, it's probably the most interesting time in education that, uh, that, that I can remember. I've been around almost 30 years, and uh, uh, there's, been, there's been quite <laughs> a lot of change and challenge, I can tell you that. So <clears> from <throat> last year's budget, how are things looking for next year? What are some changes? We did get some restoration, and uh, one of the big political footballs was the... Uh, gap elimination adjustment and our uh, representatives took very seriously the concern you know that that the districts had over the years our district has lost about 13 million dollars to gap elimination over the wow. span of the last you know seven years that's a that's a big hit now explain <clears throat> to people who may not know what gap elimination is there was a time when there was a, a formula that progressed on a year-to-year -year basis times became very tough and an incremental cutback on the, uh, the the gap between what you would have gotten and what you're truly going to get began uh, to occur. Right. In other words, so, New York State government saying, we're not going to give you as much. Right. If I'm supposed to get a dollar, I'm going to get 84 cents or 83 right. cents. And, and, and that went on for years. Uh, you know, so you, you can calculate that over time and, and right. think about the uh, accumulation of... Uh, of what didn't come your way. So uh, political uh, powers b began to make some decisions about uh, making that go away. Uh, this year, that, that represented about $800,000. So right. um, in our situation, we squeezed very tightly several years ago to get to the point where we could uh, you know, begin to stabilize. Uh, two years, three years ago, the budget was stabilizing last year we we stayed pretty flat and uh we we're able to recover this year we're able to make some recovery happen we're, we're able to do some some restoration uh specifically we're looking at positions in uh in the public uh in, in our in our middle school library mm -hmm. uh we want to bring back a computer science teacher we'd like to uh replace the custodian that we lost years ago uh, you know Everybody thinks, you know, school, school, school. We think about, uh, you know, the classroom, and that's really where everything happens. But the buildings are important, too. Sure, you have to maintain it. We've got to. So uh, a big piece of that was to bring a position back there. Uh, we had half a science teacher position. We increased it to a full science teacher. That's a schedule helper, um, an elective uh, help. You know, we can increase the number of electives that we have available. So... And it's all working towards a program that, that leads towards uh, the top-notch diploma and transcript that we want our kids to have when they, when they leave here. So, you know, we take advantage of the talent of the teachers that we have and try to build elective structure at the high school level that, uh, you know, makes an attractive transcript when, when kids go out into the, into the work world because it's really more about skills mm -hmm. and having access. Uh, because there are some jobs that have yet to even be developed that our kids are going to go out and compete for. So uh, right. we want them to be prepared to go to a community college level, to a four-year college or a certificated program and, you know, get out there and compete. And uh, we'd rather have our kids get those positions than, uh, you know, than anybody else. Sure. So, yeah. <laughs> are there any proposals included in this upcoming budget well we have on a yearly basis we have a, a rotational um, expiration of uh, board terms so this year we had two positions that uh, that came open uh, and those are the two people who have turned in petitions uh, so they will run um, uncontested for uh, for their own spots right uh, that is a true benefit uh, to the circumstance we've got a great board a really well coordinated group work together great uh, and they're going to be together again for you know at least next year next year a couple positions will open up as well so we'll see that on the propositions uh, and we want to buy a couple buses 
Um, and that's typical, right? Yeah, we, we've got a f- we got a fleet that is aging, and uh, you know we've got a mechanic who's the best there is, and so he <laughs> fixes our buses and keeps those guys running. And uh, you know we'll work them as long as we can work them. But there comes a day when they when they've got to be changed out, and uh, you know this year we want to change too. So uh, we'll see a two bus proposition on there. We've got some one-time funding uh from the county they've been holding uh they've been holding money tax money that's been ours for a couple of years and they're going to distribute that this year so nice. we may actually be able to just buy those buses rather than having to bond for them mm-hmm. uh, and then we've got a, a small bus um, a, a special education bus that's uh, uh essential uh, our program there has grown as well as uh all of our other programs and uh you know we, we need the transport so uh you know we, we put that in as well so you see two full-sized full passenger buses and then a 29 passenger small bus right well sounds like things are starting to look up which is good news I'm progress sure. yeah yeah i would call it that yeah. <laughs> it's about time yeah. right? <laughs> may 19th is when the voting occurs at foothills performing arts center from noon to 9 p.m all city residents that's go right. there to vote and make sure that your voice is heard. Mm-hmm. And that's a great partnership as well. Our uh, our friends at Foothills uh, take us in on a yearly basis, but uh, even along the year, you know, we're trying to get events to, to go over to Foothills. It's a great venue. It's a beautiful spot. And, uh, uh, you know, it's a great partnership. It's nice to be able to go yeah. there. It's a comfortable spot. Yes, it is. Joe, thank you. You're welcome. If you want more information, you can go onto the school district's website, oneontocsd.org.